Well, hey guys, this is Pilot Steve, and this is going to be a little bit different video than I normally do. I normally do them while I'm flying or checking the airplane or something to do with flying. And this is something to do with flying. Today I'm in Germany, and I'm starting my uh, trek to look at the JMB VL3 airplane, which is quite a little airplane. It's um, high speed two-seater, uh, Rotex engine, and it's the type of airplane that I'm, I'm real familiar with uh, as far as avionics. It comes with a usually Garmin dual G3X and GTN 650, that kind of stuff. But anyhow, since I was in Europe for the summer, I decided to uh, visit some friends in Germany, which we're doing now, and then next week uh, we're going to Prague to spend a few days there. And since the factory is so close to Prague, one of the uh, U.S. factory reps is going to pick me up and give me a lift over to the uh, factory. And I'm going to test fly the airplane and take a look at the factory and take a look at all the options and find out a lot of the legalities about you know, how much build I have to do and uh, how long it's going to take and that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I thought what I would do is take you guys along with me. So uh, this is gonna be part one of uh, my VL3 experience. And hopefully I like the airplane. My main concern is being able to get up in it and get out of it easy. I had the uh, Technum, which you guys saw a lot of videos on this channel about, and it got to the point where it just I just couldn't crawl in and out of the airplane anymore. It was really hard to step down into the seat and then get back up. And the airplane was a little bit slow, 120 knots. VL3 with the Rotex 915IS, uh, they're specking out at 180 knots at normal cruise, so that would be nice on uh, six or seven gallons an hour. And with fuel prices going crazy like they are, for fun trips, this will be just as fast as the TTX and probably fly it a lot more. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to take you along. I'm going to take a lot of videos and post uh, a lot of information about the VL3 and uh, see what you have to say about it. Send me some comments and you can uh, see what the process is of uh, buying an experimental plane in a foreign country, building it over here, and then shipping it to the U.S. and getting an end number. It's quite a process. So, uh, stay tuned. I think you'll like it. And any questions, just let me know. Talk to you soon. Signing off, Pilot Steve. Yeah.